Welcome back to Making Food Monday. This week we're going to be making chicken fajita soup. For today's recipe, we are going to need oil. I've got avocado oil. You can use olive oil if that's what you've got. I need chicken bouillon powder. I need cumin, garlic, cream cheese, diced tomatoes, paprika, salt, oregano, garlic powder, heavy cream, shredded cheese. I need a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper. I need an onion. And of course, the star of today's show will be our chicken. Today, I've got a breast and I've got thighs. And that should be all we need for our recipe today, guys. The first thing I'm going to do is slice my chicken into nice little strips. Add about two to three tablespoons of oil to the bottom of the pot. And I'll just dump it right in the bottom without measuring. Then I'm gonna drop down to my sear roast function and get that started. Then once my oil heats up, we're gonna start to add our chicken in batches. As our chicken sears, we're gonna go ahead and dice our onion. Our chicken has been seared and removed from the pot. We're going to go ahead and add our onions. And we're going to dice our peppers. Okay, so I made a small miscalculation, but I think it's still going to work with the recipe. I didn't realize that my onions were burning to the bottom of my pot. So I've caramelized them on purpose, totally. I've had to deglaze the bottom of my pot to get my burnt onions off of the bottom, but. I'm cooking off the excess water and then I'm going, I'm going to add my peppers to those caramelized onions. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix those peppers and onions together. Any other recipe I would have started over because the onions were pretty well caramelized, but I'm gonna go ahead and use them in this recipe because it's a fajita recipe. And sometimes you get that sort of burnt onion flavor anyways, and I think that's sort of the point. So I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna pretend like I did this on purpose, and we're gonna move on. I'm going to add my chicken, which is not fully cooked, back to the pot. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in. Then I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of oregano. One teaspoon of oregano. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of paprika. One teaspoon of paprika. Two teaspoons of cumin. There's one teaspoon and two teaspoons of cumin. I need one tablespoon of garlic. One tablespoon of garlic. Need two cans of diced tomatoes. There's one can of diced tomatoes and two cans of diced tomatoes. This one is fire roasted diced tomatoes. Then I'm going to mix everything up. Make sure we get all of those flavors combined. Then I'm going to add four cups of water. For as much as I can get in there until I get to my max fill line. There we go. Looks like I got three cups of water in there. Then I'm going to add three teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder. There's one, there's two, and there's three teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder. Then I'm gonna stir that in, make sure that our chicken bouillon powder gets dissolved. And that's it guys, we're ready to seal up our pot. Now we're gonna drop down to our chicken function because that's my high pressure. I'm gonna bring the time cook down to just five minutes. Hey guys, my time has expired. It's time to let my pressure up. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and open it up. We give everything a quick mix.
Then I'm gonna take about a cup of my hot broth. And I'm going to add it to a blender. I'm gonna add one cup of heavy cream. There's one cup of heavy cream. And eight ounces of cream cheese. Eight ounces of cream cheese. And I'll blend them together until my cream cheese is nice and smooth. Then I'll add my cream cheese mixture back to the pot. And then we'll stir that pot. Then I'm going to add two cups of shredded cheese. There's one cup and two cups of shredded cheese. Then I'm gonna stir that one more time and then give it a minute to melt completely into the soup. And there we have it guys, chicken fajita soup. Okay Jax, I've got it made and it's plated. Now we need our <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, it smells so good. Ah, oh, it smells so, so mm. good. Um, let's see, who should eat first? I think, um, I th Malia. Yes. Girl. Yeah, because I'm favorite. Girl power. I'm favorite. <laughs> you, favorite girl. You mean girl ladies first? Yeah. Hot. <laughs> Careful, it's hot. Pretty good. <laughs> you look offended. I'm so sorry that I've made you a good soup. Uh, how many thumbs are you going to give it? Um, five and a half out of ten. I will questionably take them. Thank you. Let's see. I'm gonna go with um, Jackson. You more offended as well. So, how many thumbs are you gonna give that, Mr. Offended? Anybody says hi. Okay, Jackson likes it. Jordan! Yay! That chicken is really tender. How many thumbs are you gonna give it? I'm gonna give it one greater than Jackson. Great. I said anything higher. <laughs> all right, Dad, it's all you. The smell is so delicious. It smells amazing. Yes. Mmm, -hmm. ooh, that's really delicious. It really tastes it really tastes like liquid fajitas. Wow, that chicken is super tender, man. <laughs> oh, that has a lot of flavor. How many thumbs are you gonna give it that? Oh, I like this soup a lot. Nine and a half or 10. Yes. Mm. Thanks, Dad. Yep. Okay, guys, my final thoughts. Uh, this one falls into, yes, this is a delicious soup, but there's a lot of leg work that goes into this one. Yeah, there's a lot of prep work. There's a lot that goes into making this one. It took me over an hour to get this one ready to go in the pot. So I say this one probably doesn't go on my list of favorites, although the flavor of this one is well worth it. Two thumbs up from me. Okay guys, what do we think of chicken fajita soup? Good, yeah, delicious. Yeah, some thumbs. Yeah. It gets enough enough thumbs. So this one was very labor intensive. So I think given the fact that Jackson and Malia both ate it and they both liked it, and I think had it had tomatoes and they ate it. I and ate the tomatoes. So didn't eat them. Exactly. So you ate them and they tasted yummy, didn't they? I, I didn't taste them. See, because they taste just like the soup. It's amazing. So um, this was a very tasty soup. I really liked it. I would like to have it again. Uh, I'll just have to have it on a day that I am not so tired so that it doesn't feel like so much work. Um, but I give it two thumbs up. It was very, very tasty. And now it's time to put my Smarty Pants' to bed. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
Do I move this camera? Share it with your friends. Good night, YouTube. See you next time. Don't subscribe. Please subscribe now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Poof. I actually really like this too. Me too. It was yummy.